here we go. Tech Guy Smart Buy back here with the Samsung Droid Charge for Verizon. Let's power this bad boy up. Crickets, crickets. This is their second 4G LTE. Oh. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Shows off the graphics right from the start. Yeah, you get a good taste of what the AMOLED, Super AMOLED Plus uh, will offer. Let's put the puzzles together. Ooh. Okay. You know, we got the 8 megapixel LED speaker. The design is kind of bizarro phone in regards to this is usually what a volume rocker is. So we got the power button and the HDMI port, which is right there. Nice. Um, up here we got the gigantic 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Over here, got the volume has 1.3 megapixel front facing. Um, instead of the touch button, soft touch buttons, we have actual physical buttons here at the kind of chin at the bottom. The little uh, microphone down here. You know, the usual menu, home, back search, or depending on the phone, home, menu, back search for uh, Android devices. Let's uh, crack open the back here. Let's crack it, not crack it, literally. Um, 4G, you know, the SIM card, again, the cameras. Uh, nice 1600 mAh battery. micro SD card slot which is also good that it's off on the side and not underneath the battery like another 4G phone ahem, ahem, the Thunderbolt uh, in which HTC decided to you know basically have to remove the battery to access the micro SD card and here's Samsung they fixed that and here we got the speaker which is kind of an odd placement but it's pretty loud and it definitely gets the job done Okay. All right. You know, everything's Android usual uh, notification window. Instead of Sense, where they have the different apps running, they have uh, your toggle screen, which is a, a different, a different taste for TouchWiz to do. We have uh, you know the usual usual suspects you know seven seven home screens to fill up with uh, applications give you a bunch of stuff has some Verizon apps preloaded Vcast stuff VZW Navigator Cartoon Network in regards to speed with the, the Droid Charge we're still getting great great speeds it's not like it's not like it's taking away from any 4G in compared to the Thunderbolt, and you know these are all taken to different uh, different area, different 4G areas. The best I the best I got is probably about 14 megabits per second down and five five up, which is which is still pretty good. This is Verizon Files at home, which I have at home, I'm getting about 15 about 15 16 down five up, so it's pretty much about the same. And you know, you're just taking that on the hip and on the go, wherever you go. The camera, the camera option and everything is this camera screen. You know, the switch from camera to video, access pictures, basically the other menu, you can swap it, you can flip the front facing camera and move my finger, switch it back, other menus to toggle. Um, would have, I would have liked to see it, be able to access it, access it, other than landscape, other than just have everything the same way, but, you know, I guess I'm just asking for too much. I also want to talk about how great the Super AMOLED Plus screen is, as you can see, but let's go into something a little further to show what it can do. Let's go into the Samsung Media Hub, which our previous already had open. Uh, the Media Hub comes with everything Samsung and Android related. 
So, you know, you can rent, buy movies straight from there, straight from, you know, their their library and straight to your device. And, you know, get some great stuff. So let's see what Despicable Me looks like. Well, I'm going to play the trailer. I'm not going to buy it. Let's see what the trailer looks like on the media. On the Troy Char. Uh, yeah, I could watch that all day. But, um, looks great. So, just to give you guys a quick overview of it. This is a Samsung Joy Charge for Verizon, the second 4G phone. It's a pretty good device. Um, some people may prefer to touch Wiz over the Sense, but for me, preferably, this is more my, uh, more my cup of tea. I like this, you know, of course, it's the AMOLED Plus uh, screen does it for me. Um, not too big a fan of Sense, not that big a fan of TouchWiz, but I can deal with it in regards to the UI on top of Android. Let's leave you on. And the price point is going to be a huge turn off at $300 with a two-year contract. But, you know, like we've like we written in the review, if you hold out, you might find a good deal on Amazon, Let's Talk, Wirefly, or even Radio Shack. So. And that is Tech Guy Smart Buy signing off on the Droid Charge. And the screen dims out.